This is called the gift wrap or the arm wrap. Uh, what we're going to do is today is have a look at a slightly different entrance onto it. So yesterday we had a look at the Kimura. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the most casual of the head arm trap. Um, this is something that when I started to play with this, I had pretty high success. And what we're doing with this, someone that's playing more defensive mode, they're not trying to bridge, they're not trying to attack. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm going to throw all my weights off centre onto my left hand side, but I'm putting it like a post. So I'm not coming too high, I'm not coming too low. I want it to keep my weight over my partner. Okay, so I'm here and I sit. So I've still got the squeeze. As a general, my partner's going to try and turn towards me. So my hand comes through and I start to grab. So what you get. So I'm kind of baiting my partner to turn towards me. So I squeeze my knees off centre and here, drive. So I get this really nice wrap from here. Okay, now I'm not sure. okay. So it's basically how we're gonna go. So start the pass, okay? I'll set it so I'm squeezing this knee and I sit. So I've got a really nice knee squeeze. So the angle allows me to come through to cut the head. But I don't want to cut the head because he gets access to my elbow and then cutting arm back and push it. So I'm going deep. For me is I drive, I drive and I consolidate. So we're going to go to here, we're going to allow our partner to try and rescue the arm or move. So what you're going to find is that the kimuras start to pop up quite a fair bit or the head arm pops up quite a fair bit. The two things is this, is if I sit too far backwards, he gets the ability to come up or hip escape. Does that make sense? If I go too far forwards, I can't get my arms through because there's no penetration. So it's more like I'm squeezing my knees, my, my left knee's trying to go underneath my right knee, and I sit so my hips almost on the ground. Drive all the way through, come and come. I like the head and I like the armpit. I like the armpit, I like the head. And I'm heavy and I let my partner try and move. So, this is a really nice setup if you're playing defensive jiu-jitsu. It does work better than no gi because the gi kind of gets in the way when you're doing the gi. So, this is more of a no gi attack system. Okay, guys, partner up. One, two, three. Go. So, just sitting with some of the questions, and um, it's the knee squeeze that's softly. So, I just started. So um, I'll explain to you is my left knee squeezing underneath my right knee. So a lot of time that people is, I'll show you what people do, what, which is wrong, this is what I want. So people go like this, yeah, it's perfect. So he gets the opportunity to so, like, attack, attack my leg, right? Yeah. So when I'm doing this, right, is this watch. Here, so pushes. I, like I've, I've got the my left leg, so if it pushes, it's pushing it into like the Khabib style mount. So what I'm doing is, and this is that that free fall is, um, if I give him a lever by putting anything onto the hip that allows him to push, he's going to push it. If I bring my left leg forward before my right knee, left knee, here. If he pushes, it still gives me that ability. Secondly, if he has to give me a frame. So I still go back to the same position I was on, on but on the opposite side now. All right, so hand to the armpit, hand to the head, and hold. And I'll basically just wait for him to move. That's, yeah, so you know, it's quite awkward for him to kind of get out, then I'm just kind of manipulate the game. So that, that, that armpit and that head, it's a really tight tight, it's quite hard for him to move out. So when I'm doing this, I'm not popping my knee up, I'm kind of squeezing like the big, I'm going like the Khabib style, mount the triangle for now. I'm going to put you back on your back end. Okay, so, so was there any other questions before I move on? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so we want to be at 90 degrees. We don't want to be below 90 degrees on the sit down. 
so this is the next thing and when I uh, so when I got taught this it was kind of um option was I'm trying to get the attack is too strong from here, right? Or he's locked his hands together and one of those ones. And I don't want to keep doing this because it's compromising my base as well. The more that I do this, the more that I've got momentum, the more he produces more I move. So squeeze, right knee backwards, squeeze, come under. So he might try and push my knee, but like everything's, you know, like like call, come under, stick. And I'm having trouble getting the arm. So like I've got the head, because this is uh, easy to get this, but I try to pick this arm up right now. So first thing I do is I bring my hand over, I put the fist into the neck. I back it up by coming over from here. Okay, now, is from here is the thing that I see people is they squeeze. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to go higher to extend the choke. If I try and squeeze in, he's got more option to roll me over. The higher I go, the more it's compressing onto the net. Can you feel the difference on that? So I see a lot of people when they get here, they go like this, so here, and they're, they're squeezing and down for the base. I've just got a lot of time and space because, yeah, to, to move, oh man, I lost it, you know what I mean? Where if I kind of go here and I come high, he's actually rolling into the choke more because he's rolling it towards the frame system. Uh, the fist is better than the fingers. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. Then, jump onto your back, please, buddy. Over here. Yep. And feet facing me. Okay, so, yeah, you're cool. Lay down. Just uh, this way, three more. One, two, three. Good job. Okay. So once again, guys, is we're off centre. We'll swim my arm through, cup it, arm, hit, head, boom, from here. So a lot of the time that's going to happen is my partner's going to do the answer the phone. Yeah, the escape. Right. So what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at this. Is first of all, is I grab hold of the hand from here. Second is I'm going to try and put my head as close to his shoulder as can on my ear as close to his shoulder as I can. So, put my ear up. And start to get my Kimura over the head. Huh? So what's going to happen is, it's a really weak mechanic for me, but it's going to have to defend it, which normally means it brings the hand back to the other side, which allows me to arm wrap. Uh, don't, I, I've finished a lot of people with this, because it's one of those ones that people don't expect it. So we're in the head arm choke position, and he's done the ads to the phone. So the ads to the phone is like, hello. Right, so I'll hold this first. I'll put my ear down. And now we start to go through from here. To get the arm wrap, right, is all I have to do is threaten the neck to get the arm wrap. So two on one, don't squeeze here because you get caused for a neck crank. So my left hand stays thumb up. My right hand comes in and I squeeze. Right. Simple. Drive in. And he either taps yeah, or, or brings his hand in. So anytime that we have the head arm choke, and that's the phone, head, yeah, that's good. Boom, come through, my hand comes under. The key on this one is that I'm flat on my partner, right, and I come. So all I do now is this, is I'm driving my chest down into my partner, and I pull my hands towards my hips. Easy peasy. Right. So, head arm check. Lines to the front. Grab one. So, in the back one. Defend. Hands come under because I need the hand here. Defend it. Hand comes through. Squeeze. Trap it. Right. Nice and easy now. So, we do dog paddle. So, both hands stick nice and deep. My elbow, my shoulder flares. <laughs> Take my partner down. <laughs> Drop your hips. Get down. <laughs> One, two, three.